So this project was actually really exciting. We got the brief and we saw the initial designs for the car's exterior. The car was all about wind efficiency. It's two cars in one. It transforms from a beauty mode to an aerodynamic mode, and, but when you are inside, you cannot really see all these retractable fins and the flaps. We knew that this was a special show car, and we had to have a UI that was striking and did some things pretty differently. How do we convey to the customer who sits inside the vehicle what happens really to the car? In this case, uh, we knew a rich 3D model had to be a essential part of that. Not all design tool companies are positioned in a way where they can take what they are building for a Hollywood studio pipeline and refactor that into a core that can run uh, on an embedded platform. It takes a special kind of company who can bridge this divide. We were very lucky to find the foundry to collaborate with us on this. We've been working with Mercedes on Project Dash for about a year now. It's a, an exploration into digital user experience, user interface design. Working at how we can bring our experience we've gained over the years in visual effects and games and high-end design and apply it to a new industry. Really we're trying to address two things, one of which is to produce uh, digital tools for creative designers to use which are highly accessible to them and don't limit their creative ability by requiring them to jump through technical hoops. And the other part of the problem we're very interested in is also the workflow that is associated with how it uh, transforms through engineering actually into a real product. The conversations we were having with Mercedes about their user interface project coincided with an internal technology project that I was running to create a next generation viewport renderer. It was pretty obvious to us that if we just gave this technology that we were developing internally for our own use, it could give them the tools to design their user interfaces and also the technology to deploy it in car. So this was really the first time we had to build a completely fully 3D digital environment uh, running in real time. When we first saw the technology, uh, we immediately recognized uh, the potential it has to, to really transform just not only how we work, but really enable some of the things that have kind of been in our head for a long time. If you talk to any designer, they'll tell you that any simple, beautiful, clear idea is a result of a thousand little experiments that you really have to chip away to find the core, the clear center of your idea. The faster you can do that iteration, the quicker you can get to a solution. So if your iteration time uh, is two to three months, you can maybe only do two or three of these in any given life cycle. The impact of having this end-to-end -end solution has been huge for us. Uh, it really allows us to have five, six, seven different iterations during a regular workday having the designer actually play with it, see it live in motion, uh, see how it behaves on the embedded system, and then go back and make those small tweaks and just re-export it. That was one of the reasons we chose the Foundry, was because they not only understand the technology requirements, they understand the artist's requirements. The pipeline and the tools the Foundry built for us gave us the freedom to design and actually see one-to-one -one what the user was going to see in the vehicle. That is invaluable. When you're doing iterations, uh, you, there can't be guesswork. It has to be exact. And the ethos of our brand is the best or nothing. And we needed tools that allowed us to keep that ethos alive in our work. Interfaces are becoming more responsive, more, more alive. And we see that the next step in that uh, really is to move beyond the 2D into the 3D world you're going to get uh, transitions, animations, real-world reflections, real-world uh, material interactions that can really position, I think, a brand separately from, uh, from each other. Working with the Foundry was really awesome. Really, it was a joint venture, uh, a process and co-development. They were very impressive because they weren't just a partner, they were actually part of the team. They were here on site with us, they were as invested as we were, they were working as hard as we were, and we, were, we worked very hard on this project. They understand the artist's needs and they helped us build a pipeline with tools for artists so that we can stay truly artists and still deliver a product in 3D in real time, and that was invaluable. I think going forward in the future as these tools develop, it's, it's gonna make the idea of having to pre-render something 
for a UI or some sort of experience in the car, not even an option. What we've created together is something that Mercedes-Benz as a whole can be very proud of.